in the house today. Yeah. 
best place in Washington. Oh, no. oh, yes, I can hardly no. wouldn't be sitting here this morning. Amen. Amen. So I have a little small prayer. I stole this from somebody, but I'm going to give it to pray you. Pray that. Pray that. I wasn't going to say that when the pastor did. <laughs> <laughs> I need you. I need you. I need you. I need you. We might not agree with things, but we are all a part of God's family. Stand with me. Stand with me. You are important to me. You are important to me. I need you. I need you to survive. To survive. You pray for me. You pray for me. And I'll pray for you. And I'll pray for you. Because we need each other. Because we need each other to survive. To survive. Hallelujah. truth 
slip, yeah. or if your breastplate of righteousness yeah. fell off, uh -huh. and you forget to lace your shoes on your feet shod with the gospel of peace, uh -huh. don't forget your shield. All right. yeah. All right. Paul is letting us know that there is importance in all pieces of yeah. uh,
Deborah Bell, yeah. Yeah. Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church. Amen. like all that I'm doing is in vain. Yeah. But then the Holy Spirit oh, yeah. Metropolitan Missionary Baptist Church, uh, where the tall, dark, good-looking man of God, Donald Bell, serves the pastor. Amen. If you don't know him, when you see him, you're going to say, that's just what Sister Bell said. Well, don't forget Sister Bell said it, okay? My sisters uh, from, from, from the women ministry of Metropolitan thought it was not robbery to come and join me today. Amen. If the women ministry from Metropolitan wave your hand, I thank God that you are. I thank God. I thank God for the, for, for the fellowship of the women ministry. We went bowling uh, Tuesday night. And there was about five of us bowling. You know, bowling in the week. I can knock them pins. I was cool on the weed. <laughs> I got out of that bowling alley, <laughs> and I'm still feeling it. <laughs> Fiscally, but worse than that, one of the women ministers just blew us away. I mean, I didn't even make the top three. <laughs> Two of the top three is here today, but I just want you to know I just had fun. <laughs> that's, that's my bragging right. It's okay to have fun in the Lord. Amen. Amen. That my, my natural sister, uh, we share the natural bloodline of Pastor L.D. Wesley Sr. Mm -hmm. and Miss, the late Miss Osa Wesley, my sister, Minister Lenoria McGee. Amen. And I look out for, you know, out there at you, and I know that you guys look like my brothers and sister on my spiritual father's side. Yeah. Yeah. Can we not have the same DNA? the others before me have uh, said that I'm blessed to come before you on the lead and thank Lord. Sister Dolores and Sister Monica for, for thinking of me and I thank God for that but I have the assignment to just just to tell you a little bit about this helmet of salvation right. Right. Jesus right. and take the helmet right. of salvation right. 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 my God my God and that scripture says you take it I mean, somebody trying to give you something. And Jesus told her, just take it. If you don't have your helmet, ain't because it's not offered to you. You just refuse to take it. The word is saying, take the helmet of salvation. Now, 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 there are many different type of helmets. You got your bicycle helmet. You got your football helmet. You got your baseball helmet. You got the skateboarding helmet. And we all know about the motorcycle helmets. Amen. Amen. Um, one of my readings say that the motorcycle helmet was invented by a doctor in the 1900 after he had worked on so many patients that had been hurt by motorcycle accidents. I thought that was wonderful to know. But how many of you know that this helmet of salvation was given to us over 2,000 years ago? Yeah. The Bible says we do it again and take the helmet of salvation. A helmet is vital for survival. Uh, although by the law of the land, a motorcycle rider don't have to wear a helmet. But every time I see a person on a motorcycle without one, I think you are taking a risk. So when God sees 
see us as his children without our help and our He said, you taking a risk for yourself. Yeah. How would you like to have a supernatural protection wrapped around you so Glory tightly man. that your head, it would, it would safeguard Ooh. your mind Amen. from the mental assault Amen. of the devil? Yeah. Well, you got it. Yeah. If you just take it. Yeah. God has provided that protection yeah. for us. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And take Good. the helmet Amen. of salvation. Yeah. This piece of God armor is represented, as already said, by the Roman soldier. Uh, without the helmet, he would never go into battle. But we, as children of God, face the enemy or protect it. When we do not take the helmet of salvation. Now, 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 the purpose of the helmet, of course, is to protect the head in the physical sense from injury. Yeah. If you don't have your helmet on, because there's a war going on. Yeah. There's a war going on. You may be sleeping through it. You may be in la 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 But the devil ain't playing. The word says that he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. There is a war going on. And take the helmet of salvation. My God, my God, my God. The Roman soldier would not go out on the battlefield without. Amen. Because the common weapon during those times was a battle axe. Right. And they go heading for your head. How right. I many of you know that the devil is just heading for your head? That's, right. That's where your mind is. Yeah. That's where your thoughts are. Yeah. The Bible says that this mind be in you right. that is in Christ That's Jesus. Right. Is your mind protected? to say amen. Y'all get to All right now. That is exactly like the heaven protect the soldiers on the natural battlefield. That's what the heaven of salvation does for a child of God. Now, now, Paul was writing this to the unbelievers. He was writing this to the believers. God has prepared for the believer the heaven of salvation. Your heaven may not fit my head. salvation entails, we're going to feel the blood yes. from the enemy. Yeah. Amen. 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 If you don't believe in your salvation, if you don't walk in the finished Come work on. of Calvary, yeah. you're going to feel those licks upside yeah. your head. Yeah. That's Satan. But God yeah. says, and take the helmet yeah. of salvation. Yeah. If your salvation is not worn tightly around your mind, the enemy will come and destroy and chop up the blessing that God has already said is for you. The enemy will have you believe it in your mind that your breakthrough ain't coming. Because you don't have your heaven on. The enemy will have you believe that you always going to be like this. Because you're not having your heaven on. If you don't wear your heaven of salvation to protect your mind, when you go through the battle, the only thing you believe is the devil is real. Amen. And when you have your heaven on, you know that great is he that is within you. And he that is in the world. But you got to have your heaven on. Hello? Paul on spiritual heaven was his firm belief in the completion of salvation. My, 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 my God. We got to know that we know that we know Amen. that we are a child of God. Amen. Amen. And you got to take the helmet of salvation. Amen. The enemy knows your weak spot. Amen. You're protected Amen. with the shield. You got on your breastplate. But your head ain't covered. You got to take the helmet of Amen. salvation. When our minds are trained and taught to believe the word salvation of the finished work Amen. of, of Amen. Calvary, uh, then we know we have our helmet yeah. on. Amen. Amen. 
when you got on the right helmet. You just don't quote. You just don't quote. You conquer. When you have on the right helmet, you don't look back. You look up.
epistle was written, uh -huh. Paul was in prison. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he watched the Roman soldiers Amen. all day long Amen. and studied them. Yeah. How they went about dressing uh -huh. and undressing. Uh -huh. right. right. It's coming a time when the Christians were being persecuted. Uh -huh. yeah. they knew that. Uh -huh. So Paul wanted to prepare them That's for right. what yeah. was coming up. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Right. Ministry based in Ephesus, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and they were doing a powerful work there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. People were being saved and converted yeah. 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 to the point in time that the religionists decided we got to get rid of. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, all right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell us. After tell this, us. we knew what happened. John, the beloved, got mm -hmm. sent right out to um, out the path. Send him on out there. Get out of here with that word. Get yeah. out of here with that message. Uh -huh. Everybody is kept it on now. Yeah. 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 So we don't need that. Just stir it up. Uh -huh. yeah. How many of you know the word of God meant to stir it up?
tempted. Oh, Lord. Lord. Oh, no. The devil came and, oh, he knew who Jesus Christ was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now he was going to try him. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
want me to speak now. You know, I'm a Baptist preacher. <laughs> For a long time, real robot. <laughs> so she said, Well, you need about 15 minutes. 15 minutes! <laughs> I heard somebody in the background say, Is that enough? <laughs> Church, nothing's written in the word where we are we will say by our own strength. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. At our best state, yeah. we are just ragged. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The word of God. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Did they I, I'm, I'm ready. I'm Jesus. ready. Hallelujah. I'm ready to be completely and fully committed to Amen. Jesus Christ. And I thank Amen. God for that. At this time, we're going to have a solo by our brother Cedric Audrey. Receive. <laughs> Love it, love it. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all give God a hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 When I was asked to sing this solo, we, we were at a meeting about this. You know, uh, I ain't really a solo type of person. I looked up the definition of solo. <laughs> I mean, not that I didn't know it, I didn't have an idea. But I looked up the definition of it, and it said uh, a thing done by a person unaccompanied. But uh, I'm with plenty of company today, so I'm going to sing a song that we all can sing. Good morning, bless the Lord with me.
did that. <laughs> okay, I'm just really excited to be here. I, I, I have these wonderful ladies. I, I met uh, Minister Abby, uh, Mr. Mo Miss Monica that goes out of church, Miss Monica Pearson. She introduced her to us a long time ago, Amen. and we are elected to have her. Amen. I, uh, Ms. I have not met Miss Monique Turner personally, but I think she has the fire that we need also today. Uh, Ms. Hey, uh, Deborah Bell, we met in my travels while I was a correction officer. I used to take the inmates down to get methadone at the methadone clinic because holy, she was in the other office and I, we, we met and you know who we end up talking about, God. How he's delivered us, brought us, and keeps us through the whole day as we go along on our journey. Miss Alma Corner, she has a very good legacy in Pensacola and uh, I knew she knew my husband from <laughs> My husband and his family, we're honored to have her also. Yes. She said, uh, well, you get the oldest last because you got the most fine yes. of the yes. of all these years. Yes. We're glad to have the kindling enough just like old father of mine. It gets better and better and better. Yes. And may God bless her. We learned about, Minister Abney told us about putting on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. And through that, the key points I got out there was show our righteousness in all our actions yes. and our words. Yes. Then you can do all things through Christ which is in this yeah. uh, Minister Turner, she talked about the shield of faith. Yeah. And we should stand firm in your faith. Yeah. Stand firm in your faith and don't forget your shield. Yeah. Um, yeah. Minister First Lady Deborah Bell, she gave us uh, do not face the enemy without protection. Oh, yeah. She mentioned a battle axe. You know the old people saying, he's a battle axe. Yeah. In the time of battle. Yeah. And every time that they say, shelter in the time of the storm. Oh. Well, now we know where the battle axe came from. Come on, now guys, we just sung it because we sung it in church. But now we know that when they put on their helmet, they was trying to protect themselves from yeah. getting hit by the battle axe. Yeah. So that ought to be a light in your head. All right, and, and um, so in your weakest time, you put on the helmet of righteousness. So you would take your sword and take your Bible, which is your sword, and you will have the ultimate protection of God, Jesus Christ. And lastly, uh, Minister Alma Cornish, the little five. <laughs> She can't let it She hasn't put it out yet, but I still got it. I still got it in my soul. She's talking about putting on the whole armor of God. And she mentioned that sixth piece of all, the whole armor of God. You have to take your sword, which is the Bible. She says, don't leave it on your nightstand. Don't leave it in the living room. My mama had one in every room. Every time we had a storm, I, I grew up in Oklahoma, and we had tornadoes real bad. And she would point, she would point it. East, north, west, south, whatever way the storm was coming, my mom would point the Bible. Jesus. My brother said, "Where you know them Bibles all around? I said, you, did, you didn't learn what you supposed to learn when you was a young child. You need to go back and start again. Aww. So now, uh, we put on the whole armor of God, and God is preparing us to fight this battle, to stand us the reward of eternal life. He allowed his son to come down here and die. Nobody made him die. He allowed him to die. And he gave up his life. They didn't take it. He gave it up. So we must we must do what we are supposed to do. If he could give his only begotten son, we should be able we got a lot of children, a lot of relatives, a lot of everything. But he was just a lonely man up there on the cross. He had relatives and everything, but up there on the cross he didn't have anybody with him. But God himself and the two thieves. But um, we just need that to stir up in us, stir up in us. And she's saying our best thing, we are nothing but filthy rags, which is good. We are nothing but filthy rags, which is good for us to know because without the whole armor of God, we are nothing. That's right. So we should press on toward the mark of the high calling of God. And you ain't believe it, but I really am shy. Trina said that she don't really believe. We don't believe that part. Uh -huh. But I really am shy. And I don't do a lot of talking. So they say, you know, we want to respond to the welcome at different churches. And I just look at what I'm going to say. <laughs> but uh, I am very pleased to come here today. This has been a eye opener for us. This is our first very transgressions of Gracious to the Grand People. And we are excited. Putting on the whole arm of God was the best title I think we could start out with. So I thank all of you. I thank um, Minister Jackson that did that powerful prayer. God bless you. And, uh, I guess I'll turn it back and have a minister of Brenda Washington. Thank y'all. Have a great day.
we heard the word and we got a recall uh, reintroduction of the word and yeah. something that remember why we eat breakfast and fellowshipping with one another. Yeah. Somebody you don't know, just greet them and ask them their name and, and just smile at them. That's what we do here at this church. We love you. Amen. 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 We thank God for that. This time we're gonna have a presentation by Sister Sandra Brown. <laughs>
me a prayer lunch. Amen. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the sweet spirit of his holy communion, rest rule and abide with each of you henceforth now and forevermore. May we all say, Amen. Amen. God bless you again. Welcome and thank you all for coming. Please enjoy yourselves in the dining hall. Come this way and follow the smell.